Brilliant. Wait, so the, the F, like the, the Mercedes team messed him up in, in the pit lane and he actually cost him a race? I'd be so pissed. I, mm, mm, like, I'm What is going on, guys? It is JJ here back with a new video, and today we're going to take a look for the first time at George Russell. Um, obviously, probably driving for Williams last year. Uh, never really noticed George Russell. I mean, I, I still, I think I need to do a new 2021 season review because obviously, while it came down to that Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, that was the only race I watched. Uh, that was when we first started getting into F1 on the channel. Um, it was really, really bad timing because obviously, like I'd seen the context as to what was happening in the F1 season, but I hadn't sort of felt the the gravity of the situation. Like everybody was tuned into the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix because it was such an amazing, immense finish to a race. And honestly, it was probably some of the most entertaining two hours that I've that I've seen from from F1 racing. But that was my first experience with it. And so drivers like George Russell and, and some of the middle of the park drivers. I didn't know who they were. I didn't, I didn't know they existed. Um, and that is why we are going through. We we will take a look at like all the F1 drivers. I want to take a look at something that takes a look like that that shows every single F1 driver ever. Because I feel like that would be an insane video. I feel like it would be a very long one. But I think it'd be super cool. So let me know you guys' thoughts on that down in the comments below. We're gonna take a look at George Russell uh, and his journey to Mercedes. Uh, to joining the the AMG Mercedes Patronus team uh, and to joining. Lewis Hamilton. Let me know you guys thoughts on that. Let's get into the video. With this being my first look at George Russell, uh, let me know what other drivers you guys want to see down in the comments below. I will be responding to you guys' comments. Uh, it's a nice little weekend day, no longer working, so I have time to actually go out and talk to you guys. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a Formula One video, so obviously check it out in the description. Um, it's, it's just the F1 video, mainly because I need to learn who he is first before we get into the highlights, highlights, uh, and see why Mercedes is taking him up in the, in the first place. But yeah, let's do it. To finally get oh, he's been a Mercedes driver his whole life. Formula One car is that makes sense. Unbelievable experience. All I can do at the moment is just doing my job with Mercedes and trying to win as many races and the championship in GP3. It's a first victory in GP3 for George Russell, who leads an ART 1, 2, 3, 4. He looks so young there, holy hell. Russell's going to get swallowed. They're three wide down the iconic main straight at Monza. But look at the exit for Russell, who's got the inside line. But now the lead belongs to George Russell. George Russell takes the checkered flag to extend his championship lead. Are they allowed to have champagne or GP3? Is it not like a, is it just like because it's a lesser competition? It's not actually like a, like a under, like under 18 type of deal? Or like the, I mean, they, I guess champagne is champagne. It's not going to hurt. It's for the final podium place. He's forced Kari wide, who kicks his foot to the floor. And there's contact between the pair of them. Alessio Lorandi takes the checkered flag. And George Russell is the 2017 GP3 champion. That's going to feel really good. F1 practice day in 2017? So he's been around for a while, man. The sprint race in Baku. Here we He's go. Underway and up into fifth place. We've got George Russell. Norris now having to defend from Russell. Who comes Ooh, to the inside line? Young Lando versus George Russell. Oh, oh, the team got a problem. Can Russell make the move on both of them? Or oh, will it be Norris to sweep around the outside? Oh. No. George Russell's done it. First position belongs to him with four laps to go. George Russell crosses the line to become an F2 winner with a storming drive. Champion of GP3. That's gotta feel so good. That's gotta feel so good. I mean, I, mean, I need to watch more F2 videos and more FE videos because I feel like there's such a humongous world of formula racing that I'm missing. Um, obviously, this is where like all the young talents come from as well. It's where you make your mark. In 2017, and, and, he is going to be a super insane. talented field. He wins for the seventh time in 2018. And George Russell is the Formula 2 champion of 2018. This has been a lifelong dream of mine. Multi-year deal to with Ben Williams. What I've worked towards for so many years. How excited are you about this season? Yeah, incredibly excited, to be honest. The last few years have been extremely surreal. Russell's now going to have a go at him. That was committed. It was brave. It was brilliant. 
And George Russell goes ninth fastest now. Okay, so, so he at least is only things qualified for Williams' car. In 2018, Williams are through to Q2. Yes, boys. Yes. Nice one. Nice one. George Russell goes 12 fastest ahead of Charles Leclerc. And George Russell has legitimately put himself into Q2 again. Woo! <laughs> nice. George Russell deputising for Lewis Hamilton. George Russell takes the lead of the Sakir Grand Prix. George Russell already flying out in front. OK, George, we're going to need to box box. We have a mixed tyre set on the car. Russell's now going to have a go at him, and he goes past his teammate. Looks like a real puncture. George Russell's oh. chance at a podium. Absolutely gone now. George, I'm sorry for that. That was a brilliant, brilliant Wait, drive. so the, the, F, like the, the Mercedes team messed him up in, in the pit lane, and he actually cost him a race? I'd be so pissed. I, mm, like, I'm fighting everyone. Everyone, as soon as I get into the pit lane, I'm throwing the steering wheel. I'm, I'm taking the tire off. We're getting the drill. We're drilling people. Everyone's getting it. There's no way. There's no way you can mess up with a mixed tire set like that. You you are a professional F1. You. you don't mess Thank that you. up. You know, it means more than just scoring our first points. It's three years of hard work, dedication, tough moments. I'm, I'm emotional. It's, it's weird. It's um, it's more than what the result today shows. Okay. George Russell could be on for pole position here in Spa for the first in his career in a Williams. What a lap from George Russell. It's a front row for George Russell in Spa. George Russell, what a performance. Uh, I don't know what to say, to be honest, you know, I was, uh, I thought we'd have been doing a good job to get out of Q1, how we, were, how we got on yesterday, and now we're standing here in the front row. I think the guys did a, an amazing job today. You know, we're on the track, we waited at the right time. That's got, that's got to feel really good. Uh, I hope we did good on the race. So, um, on to tomorrow now. It has not stopped raining uh, from overnight through the morning to the afternoon. So we only got his first podium last year. We can call it now. The race will not resume. George Russell takes second place for Williams. And maybe George Russell. What happened? What happened? Explain Spa 2021 to me in the comments. Like, did they just, like, start the race and then the weather just completely took it out? Or did they never even get started? And essentially, whatever your pole position was is what place you took. Because that would be so damn irritating. I'm not... That that would be so stupid. We'll stand on the podium many, many times in the future in Formula One. Uh, but he does get his first podium in this sport in his 50th... So, Lewis afternoon. took third, Max took first in that race. Okay, and that, that's still, that's going to be pretty sick to see George Russell and Lewis Hamilton together. Let me know what you guys think of George Russell joining the Mercedes F1 team. Uh, obviously, he was the first to drive the W13 uh, yesterday. I, I, I don't know, I like the thought of him and Lewis competing against each other, but like, it, George Russell seems like a super friendly dude, so will it really be a competition? Will he like enjoy his time essentially to the backseat of Lewis Hamilton, like try to learn from him that way he can continue that legacy? Um, obviously those two, Max Verstappen, uh, uh, Carlos Sainz, uh, Charles Leclerc, uh, the McLaren team with Ricardo uh, and Lando Norris, Vettel with, with Aston Martin. There's so many possibilities uh, for who's gonna battle for, for F1 glory, really. It's going to be an exciting season. It's going to be a really, really exciting season. But obviously, let me know one of your guys' favorite drivers. Maybe some of your predictions down in the comments below. Uh, and, and go take a look at the Mercedes W13 video I dropped. Finally, take a look at the car. Looks gorgeous. Uh, I think we're going to do the onboards tomorrow from George Russell and Lewis Hamilton because I kind of want to see them drive it. I know, I know there's bad weather in the UK right now, but I, I want to see them drive the car. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching them. And peace.